Universal remotes have been around for a long time, but finding one that works with all your devices seems daunting and nearly <laughs> impossible. Uh. And when Logitech discontinued its Harmony Universal remotes a few years ago, there were no real options for those who needed a smart device to control all their home entertainment systems. But things have changed, and Sofa Baton has entered the market. This is the Sofa Baton X1S, a universal remote that's supposed to work with all your home entertainment devices. And we'll find out in this video if that's true. And just to be clear, we did receive the X1S for free for a full and honest review. The Sofa Baton X1S is priced at $189.99. So what do you get with the X1S? Well, you get a detailed user manual. You get the universal remote, which is nice. It's pretty slick and it's lightweight. I like the feel. You get the basic settings guide, and you get the set-top box. And this includes two USB Type-C connections and two IR blaster connections. You also get two USB Type-A to USB Type-C cables. It also includes one 5 volt 2 amp power brick and two IR blaster cables. And this is everything you get with the X1S. So I'm going to attempt to connect this remote to two TVs a Sony TV, and a Sharp TV. And we'll also connect this to an Apple TV box, and we'll even try our PS5. And just a heads up, I don't have a soundbar or a DVD player. However, this remote should work with those systems. So let's see if this remote can do the job. So first things first, we're gonna pair this with a Sony TV and then the Apple TV box. And then we're gonna pair it to the Sharp TV and the PS5. So the first thing I have to do is connect the power to the set-top box, and then download the Sofa Baton app. And you wanna make sure your hub is near the devices that you want to control, like your TV or soundbar. And then you'll have to pair the phone with the set-top box. And there's a button on the set-top box. And you'll press that button for three seconds to go into pairing mode. And after you pair your phone to the set-top box, you'll need to connect to your Wi-Fi. And one thing to note, if you're using a VPN, go ahead and turn it off. Otherwise, your phone and the hub will not connect. And before you start pairing the remote to your devices, make sure the S1S is fully charged. And you can charge the remote with the provided USB Type-C cable. So first, I paired the X1S to my 85-inch Sony TV. So in the app, go to Add Devices, and you have three options, IR, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. And one thing to note about this process is that with all new devices, you're gonna use Bluetooth connection and not IR. However, if you have older devices, then use IR connection. And I'll show you that in a minute because my Sharp TV is pretty old. So now select the model of your device. We'll type in Sony. And then here you can type in the model number. And this database is pretty extensive. And as you can see, my Sony TV model number is in the database. Pretty cool. So now it's going to download the database. And then next, we're going to configure the power settings for the remote. And then once we're done, we can perform a test to see if it works. And it does. And after we're done here, it will sync all the information to the X1S remote. It takes about 30 seconds. And just a heads up, on our Sony TV, I had to go to Bluetooth settings and then connect to the X1S. And then now test the buttons on the X1S to see if they all work. And if some of the buttons don't work, you can go back into the app and configure it. So the process is the same for the Apple TV box. Go to add device, then Bluetooth, then type in Apple, and then select Apple TV, and then download the remote codes. And once again, you'll have to configure the power settings, and then you can sync the remote, and then make sure all the buttons work. And if not, go back and reconfigure. Now with my Sharp TV, it's about seven years old. So when I go add device, I'll use IR connection, then type in Sharp, and then find the best model number for your TV. Then download the database and then configure your power settings. And then sync those settings to the X1S. And once again, check the remote to make sure it works. If it doesn't, go back and reconfigure. Now we're gonna try to add the PS5. So go add device and Bluetooth and type in Sony. And we can see PlayStation 4 or 5. And then download the database. And then configure power settings. And from here, I had a slight problem. I could not get the power settings to work with the PS5. And I tried several different ways, but to no avail. But the other buttons did work, so the X1S can control the PS5 if I want to watch movies or TV shows. And the last thing to do is to add an activity. So when I want to watch Apple TV, I want the remote to turn the Sony TV on and the Apple TV box on. And by going to activity, I can add both devices and get this all set up. It's pretty easy. And last thing to do is test it and it does work. 
So let's go ahead and talk about the review of the X1S. The things I love about the X1S is the initial setup is pretty easy. Everything is pretty straightforward and the user manual is pretty detailed. The shape of the remote is pretty comfortable and it's lightweight and easy to use. And I like the black finish as well. And the LCD screen is pretty easy to navigate. I think for ease of use, a touch screen would have been better, but the wheel does work well. The X1S has 13 programmable buttons, and that's plenty for most situations. And as far as the app goes, it works well. So there are a couple of things about the X1S that I don't like. First, when configuring the power settings, it can be difficult to set this up, especially with older devices and gaming consoles. And setting up the input selection can be a difficult process. And choosing between IR and Bluetooth was kind of a trial and error. I would try IR at first, and then Bluetooth. And I found Bluetooth worked best for most devices. And one last critique about the remote. It's very slick, and I've dropped it a few times. So be careful. So setting up the X1S, control all your devices, is awesome, but it's not easy. And you will have to dedicate some time to the setup process. But if you're patient and willing to do this, the X1S is a solid choice. And is by far the best universal remote I've seen on the market, bar none. So guys and gals, if you need a universal remote to work with all your devices, then the X1S is a solid choice. And the product link will be listed below. I'm Michael Scott. This is the Ultimate Tech Hub. High five. Peace.